when this Montana property was purchased, we set out to create here the finest year-round resort on the North American continent. And without reservation of any kind, we can say that we have done precisely that. That judgment doesn't come from us. Rather, it comes from the hundreds of guests who are coming here to visit and to buy property. It is big. It is beautiful. Unlike any other resort we know of, Big Sky has been planned and designed down to the last detail. Nothing has been done here by accident or by whim. The results of all this planning are now self-evident. In the fine water system, one of the finest uh, sewer systems anywhere, land use, our architecture, and the contouring of roads, layout of lots and condominiums, scientific management of the forest land, the control of erosion, protection for wildlife, a solid waste disposal, and so on and on. We have 11,000 acres here of our own property, about 30% of which is going to be developed. The remaining 70% is going to be left in its natural state in the form of parks and green belts. There is simply no justification here whatsoever to create a high-density situation and start stacking people uh, on top of each other. So there'll be none of the crowding uh, here at Big Sky that you find at some of the other resorts. And then when you have thoroughly explored the 11,000 acres of our land, we are surrounded here by several million acres of Forest Service land, which you are free to explore to your heart's content. So the consequence of all this is that as you wander over these mountains and ride the trails, no one, no one is ever going to say to you, get off of my property, <laughs> because this property belongs to the people of the United States. Oh yes, Montana weather. That is one of those pieces of mythology which we will actually have to get out of the consciousness of America. Yeah, up on the Canadian border, where the official government weather station is located, a little town called Cutbank, it indeed does get cold. The winds sweep down across the Canadian frontier there, unobstructed, and uh, indeed it's pretty severe. But realize that we're about 350 miles south of uh, that weather station. We are protected by the mountains, we're out of the wind belt, and we have a humidity here which is almost zero. So put those three factors together and we actually live in what we call a banana belt. We in Sun Valley enjoy this same phenomenon. Through the winter months here, we enjoy day after day of marvelous sunshine uh, with beautiful weather, just perfect for skiing. Skiing, Big Sky is already established as one of the great ski centers of the world, both alpine and cross country. You descend off of your choice of two mountains, have a high vertical drop and miles of skiing above timberline, and then down through the forest trails to the bottom of the lifts and the hotel, the restaurants, or directly to your condominium. There will be no waiting lines for ski lifts at Big Sky because we're starting with a capacity of 5,200 uh, persons per hour. We're starting with two double chairs, one triple chair, and one four-passenger gondola. This entire area is full of diversions. In addition to all of those here on the property, the Lewis and Clark Caverns are a few minutes' drive away. We have several old ghost mining towns. Some of them have been reconstructed, and uh, everyone has a good time at Virginia City or Nevada City or Bannock. They are close by. We have seven Indian reservations in this state, and many of our guests find that fascinating to go over to the Crow or Cheyenne or Assiniboine for reservations and spend a day. We're 16 miles from Yellowstone Park, and we're about five hours' drive from Glacier Park. So there is no end of things to do in this area. I believe we are the most accessible resort in the country. We're situated just 43 miles on a fine road from the best airport in the state, served by three airlines. All you have to do is head for Minneapolis or Denver or Salt Lake City, and you've got it made because we enjoy excellent connections with all airlines coming into those three cities. 
Yes, it's been fascinating to watch people, watch our guests arrive here. Uh, they drive up, they arrive with the cares and the pressures and the anxiety still with them. But give them about 10 or 12 hours, one overnight stay, and all the cares and anxieties and pressures have miraculously disappeared. I think people are just more at ease and they are finer and better people uh, in an environment of this kind. They're not under pressure. They've left the worries and the anxieties behind them. And here they can relax. They're more natural. And as I say, they are a finer uh, species. Yes, Big Sky has a fundamental purpose, to live in harmony with nature at her very best. Big Sky is built not just for us of this generation, but as an endowment for generations yet to come.